Hey everybody, welcome back to Papa's Toy Shop. I'm Tony, aka Papa. Um, today I'm doing the video by myself. Uh, my kids like to pop in and do the videos every so often. Reagan's uh, really good when we do the uh, the food ones because I just like seeing her, her face and whatever. She kind of comes across something nasty, so it's really funny. <laughs> but anyway, just me today. I've got a couple of mystery boxes for you. These should be some pretty good ones. Um, I've got a uh, one from Loot Crate, and I also have one from Spastic Pops. And I'll talk about the Spastic Pops one whenever we get to it, but we're going to start off with Loot Crate here. This one just came in uh, a couple days ago, so I couldn't tell you. I mean, I'm guessing it's the Loot Crate from uh, either May or June, however they either they ship them in the beginning of the month or the end of the month, whichever. So let's go ahead and open up and see what's in the Loot Crate for this month. I've got a lot of decent stuff out of Loot Crate. I've been kind of, you know, some of them are really, really good. Some of them are just, you know, somewhat good. So it feels like there's several things in here. But we've got to start off with a t-shirt. And, of course, it's the Loot Wear exclusive 5XL uh, tall fat. Well, it looks like it's uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles this time. So that's really cool. Of course, you got Leonardo, Donatello... Michelangelo, Raphael. Um, and then you have, of course, you have Shredder and uh, Splinter and all those other characters on there too. But that's really, really pretty cool. I mean, it'd be another one I'm going to end up keeping. So, anyway, we got the turtles. Let's see, next. Let's pull out the little thing out of here. Looks like we have, it says Red, Rugrats 30 Year Reptar gun. I was never a big uh, Rugrats fan, probably because I was older when Rugrats came out. I mean, I'm going to be 48 this year, and I guess if it's 30 years, you know, I would have been uh, 18 when it came out, so I wasn't real, you know, into cartoons at that time. But let's take a look and see what the pen looks like. I know what Reptar is. I mean, I've seen things about it. So, oh, that's pretty cool. It's a gold Reptar pen. So, if you're a fan of Rugrats, That'd be something pretty cool to have. Huh. All right, next. Looks like there's only two more things in the box. So only a few things this, this month. We have a, a SpongeBob SquarePants juice glass set. So let's take a look at and see what they look like. Oh, that's pretty neat. There's one. There's the other one. On the back of this one, it says Tiki Time. Good vibes only. And this one says Aloha from Bikini Bottom. That's actually pretty cool. And of course, these would be a child's glass because, I mean, that's like a shot glass for me. <laughs> of course, I can't drink alcohol anymore because of all the pain medication I'm on, but still... Those are actually really pretty cool. Juice glasses from SpongeBob. Put these back in here. And the last thing in the box. Oh, I guess there is the scan code, which I can't for some reason I can't ever find. <laughs> can't ever find the the thing whenever I scan it, so. So last thing in there, and it looks like we have Guardians of the Galaxy, Star-Lord, Collect and Build. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Let's open it up and see what it is. I'm trying not to tear up the box in case I'm, it's not something I'm going to keep. No, oh, it's just a star. It's a Star Lord figurine. So, that's actually really, really cool. Huh. And there he is. That's really cool. That may be something I actually hang on to. It says one on it, so I'm wondering. It looks like it might hook on to something, kind of like the um, oh, the Avengers Assemble that were put out through uh, Amazon where you had the characters are on a base that you could collect click together 
Um, my guess would be there would be a Drax and a Gamora, Groot, uh, Rocket, and they would probably all connect together uh, with a from a central thing. Like the uh, Black Widow one for the Avengers had a, an extra piece in there that that's what you connected everything to. So that's why I'm going to guess that's what that is because it says collect and build and it has a number one on there. So this would probably be the first figuring of a however many piece set. So the next loot crates as they come along will probably have the next ones in it. But that is really, really cool. I like that a lot. Very, very detailed. So there we go. There we have uh, the loot crate for this month. Go ahead. Put Star Lord back up. You know, and of course, we would have had uh, would have had one less movie if uh, Star Lord would have uh, would have left Zan uh, Thanos alone whenever they were trying to get the gauntlet off. But you know, you know how that is. <laughs> so anyway, there we go. So the next thing I've got is a box from Spastic Pops. Uh, I had to pull up on my email here. I don't usually tell you guys uh, what type of box it is because I don't remember. I mean, honestly, I don't remember. My mind is so shot from all the medications that I take, I don't remember things a lot. So, But I made sure I pulled up this time uh, what this one was because I just ordered it like a week or so ago. Uh, so I have it pulled up on my email what this is. This is Sheldon's Guaranteed value blind box grail party hunt uh, it is eighty dollars plus shipping so it'll be a guaranteed of eighty dollars value uh, it says there uh, four pops per box there's 95 total boxes and the top 12 boxes total of uh, two thousand dollars or oh, that's 95 total boxes top 12 boxes total two thousand ppg so that's pretty good so we should have a pretty good box in here. We'll we'll hope for the best. Maybe we can get some of the top hits. Uh, most of the box mystery boxes I get, they don't have a lot of value to them. I've pulled a couple of good things, but nothing major. So let's just uh, hope and pray that this one is. So let's go ahead and cut it open. I really like the guaranteed value ones. That way I don't end up losing my, losing my butt on them. So let's take a quick peek. Uh, looks like they are got plastic wrapped on top, but they're not in sorters or anything. So, of course, we have the Spastic Collectibles sticker. We're going to hold this to the side and take the do the undo the bubble wrap so I can see what we got in here. Looks like we have one no protector, one no protector, one no protector, and we got one in a protector. So. I'm guessing we're not going to have the top hits uh, in this one, but it's still guaranteed value. So hopefully the four that are not in the boxes are worth very little, and then the one in the protector is worth worth a good amount. So, all right, we'll start off with one of the first ones in the that's not in a protector, and we have looks like the 40th uh, anniversary Empire Strikes Back R2D2. This is the GameStop exclusive. Uh, it's the Dagobah one where he's all dirty from being in the in the swamp and everything like that. Uh, this one was actually pretty scarce and it had good value when it first came out because people couldn't get it. So I'm sure it's calmed down in value by now. So, But anyway, there's R2-D2. Next, we have Michael Jordan from the Chicago Bulls. Looks like he's in his, this is the Target Con exclusive where he's in his warm-ups. So that's not too bad. That's a That's a pretty good one. Um, uh, it looks like we've got a theme going here though with Target so we'll have to see what other, other things we got in the box and both these pops are in excellent shape uh, I don't see any problems with any of them next one that's uh, not in a protector we have uh, Stormtrooper it is the Shadow Stormtrooper from GameStop so I know this one was another one that was a hard to get when it first came out uh, so these have all been pretty popular pops. Both, all three of them are in excellent shape. So, what we got left now is we got one that's in a, uh, it's in a plastic pop protector. Uh, it's one of their protectors. It's a spastic, spastic pops pop protector. So, hopefully, this one's a really, really good one. And uh, let's see if we can figure out which side's going to be the back. That should be the back. And here we go. Let's see what we got. And we have, looks like the Target Dog. Uh, the flocked target dog with the red collar. So this would be the uh, the original one. So 
go ahead and pull that plastic off there so you can see a little bit better. So this is a pretty good hit. I don't think it's anything like major, major value, but it's still got pretty good value to it. Let's get that plastic off there so you can actually see it a little bit better. In fact, we'll go ahead and take it out of the plastic so we can check for check to see if it's damaged or not. there's nothing else in there nope all right we'll take a look and see I don't see any damage to the box maybe a scratch or two here there here there but nothing too major so anyway that's pretty cool we got the flock target dog all right let's see what kind of value we pulled on this we have to have at least uh, eighty dollars because that's what the guaranteed value is go ahead and pull up my calculator and we'll pull up the hobby DB thing and let's see first of all we got Michael Jordan of the Target Con he's showing a value of all right. I don't know why it's not showing me the correct variance so anyway looks like to be uh, $24 so Let's go back to here. We'll put in $24 plus. Then we have the Shadow Stormtrooper. Shadow Stormtrooper came out last year and uh, shows he's a GameStop exclusive with a uh, value of $31. So hey, that's not too bad. Just out of the first two pops, I mean, I've already got uh, $55 back. So, and I know these other ones have got some decent value to them. So, let's take a look. Next, we have R2-D2. R2-D2 uh, Dagobah. Uh, it's Target exclusive. It shows a value of $16. Add that to here. So far out of these three pops, I have $71 in value. Now I'm guaranteeing you that the flocked uh, target dog will be more than nine bucks. So I think I've done pretty well in this, in this mystery box. So let's take a look and see what his value is. So there we go. Bullseye flocked from 2019. 2019 red collar shows not too bad a, a current value of thirty dollars so if we add thirty dollars to what I had that gives us a total value of hundred and one dollars so not too bad I believe the shipping on it was probably like twelve bucks or something so I pretty much just broke even on it if you include the shipping into it but still got some really cool pops I mean, uh, I really like the Target Dog one. I haven't had this one before. I do know it has different uh, colored collars. And I think it's the brown one is the one that's worth the most. But but anyway, there we go. We've got the Target Dog. we got R2-D2, the Shadow Stormtrooper, and Michael Jordan. Not too bad. So I hope you guys have liked the video. If you did, please be sure to press that like button down below and let me know that you liked the video. Uh, if you did like the video and, and you'd like to see more, I sure hope you would click that subscribe button that's down there too. Uh, that way you can see my new videos that come out and also my past videos. I really actually have quite a few uh, older videos. Some are really good. Some are, I know people are like, oh, what's going on with it? Anyway, I try to do my best on these. It's, it's mainly to keep me sane and uh, entertain myself and hopefully entertain you guys. So uh, I sure hope you would subscribe to me. Click that little uh, bell, let you know when I've got new videos coming out. Um, it's been a good day here today. I hope you guys have had a great week, and I sure hope you have a great day.